Ever wonder where your Traxxas cars and trucks are from? Well, today we're in McKinney, Texas at Traxxas headquarters and we're gonna have a look inside. Stay tuned. We are headed to the Traxxas factory. I'm so stoked. We are in town to pick up some vehicles on loan for an upcoming RC warehouse takeover video shoot, which is gonna be my next video. So make sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss it. Their retail store is adjacent to their massive warehouse and is open to the public seven days a week. They have every single one of their many products out on display and they invited us to take a tour. These big companies can seem very mysterious, sort of like the Wizard of Oz, but behind the red curtain, they are all hobbyists that love having fun with RC just like us. Let's check it out. Let's take it away. I'm Dameron Atkins, marketing manager. I've awesome. uh, been with the company going on 18 years. Gotten to see and do a little bit of everything for promoting Traxxas. Awesome. How many cars do you think would be are in this room? Total? A couple hundred? A couple say. hundred cars. <laughs> Show us around uh, some of the cars. And actually, it would be great to see some of the cars that we're going to be driving as well. Yeah, of course, the X-Max, which I think you guys are going to be driving a couple of these uh, this weekend. My first time ever driving an X-Max will be very careful with them. Very, very careful with them. Very, very careful with them. Amazing truck, 50 miles an hour, uh, incredibly durable, can go pretty much anywhere. I mean, you see the size, just tons of ground clearance, tons of suspension travel. Driving them at skate parks and different places, Crazy. just jumping them, you know, 20 feet in the air, and they just come back for more. Desert racers here. VRs. We added lights recently, so they have Sweet. the LED lights pre-installed, uh, which is a pro scale light set. It actually has functional brake lights and reverse lights. Awesome. Yeah, which is really cool. <laughs> boats. Couple boats over here. Boats. 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 The Spartan and the M41. Oh. 50 miles an hour on the water. They shoot roost like 15 feet in the air. So this was course. my first, first ever RC crawler. It's kind of like the gateway drug that got me into all the other ones. Probably my most popular one that I have. It's yeah. fun. And it has my most miles on it too, because I it's my one crawler that I had. I had one car that we took it to Moab and like crawled up canyons, went on a couple mile hike with it. Very cool. It's fun. Parts and parts and parts. All the bodies hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> the bodies. <laughs> so I let him drive this on the, the run footage, tumbled it down like a mountain bike trail, and it was like so shiny and new and it was just like <laughs> cartwheeled. <laughs> oh Mountain Mike, your band. That's where you have to turn the camera around. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> We've had people come to Texas just to come to the store cool. here to Traxxas headquarters. Which I is know, amazing. it feels like you're pulling up to like Disney. I'm like, we're at Disneyland <laughs> for RC. So cool. Yes. All the, like the signs when you come in and the fountain and 
Yeah. So that's really special. Yeah, when people, you know, it's one of their kids' birthdays and. Child ad- abduction. Uh oh. Probably had to. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> But yeah, it's cool when people make a pilgrimage here to come to the store, right? Because they love, like, their Traxxas awesome. car or whatever, and they want to come see you see the Mecca here, the store where Very we have cool. everything. Yeah. Can I ask you a couple questions? Of course. As far as skills that people would need to get a career in the RC hobby like you, what would you say yes. that people, backgrounds they need in education or skills? That so engineering, like mechanical and electrical engineering are perfect backgrounds. Um, anything in, like, marketing, sales, you know, entrepreneurship, those kind of disciplines are a perfect fit accounting yeah. and what's your favorite thing about working here other uh, than being around <laughs> these awesome cars all the time i would say my favorite thing is just we're an innovative company we're always looking forward we're always looking to develop unique cool innovations that solve really complex problems with simple solutions like clipless body mounting waterproof electronics those kind of things when i was a kid like the last thing you could do is drive your RC car through a puddle of water. Yeah. It would just ruin yep. it in two seconds. For and sure. so yeah. when we came out with waterproof electronics and we're going out on video shoots and photo shoots and driving through like little creeks, it was like, it felt like you're not supposed to do it. But then it's opened up this whole world of RC, right? To sure. being able to use the vehicles in winter or, you know, in wetter climates and to really open that up to different parts of the year where before it was more limited just being around a passionate company that's looking to innovate and continue to push the envelope of performance. I mean, it's fun. It's, yeah. it's an amazing thing, an amazing opportunity to get to share this level of you know, premium engineering and fun products that can do amazing things with lots of people getting into the hobby. If you could pick one car from like anything in here, what would be your, you were saying one of them over there, your go-to car? Yeah, so I would, there's more than one, that's a tough All question. Alright, you, you can expand. <laughs> so I would say Slash, like, like we were talking about, we have... I've uh, never heard of the Slash before. <laughs> Has anyone heard of the Texas Slash? Well, slash um, City. <laughs> so we have the wall of Slash trucks here from, you know, two-wheel drives and four-wheel drives. And, uh, this is a go-to just because it's so durable. Um, you can really progress and grow through the slash line from two wheel drive to four wheel drive, from brush to brushless, and then even step it up from, uh, we have training mode for people getting started to reduce the speed, and then you can always go up to like a three cell lipo when you're ready to go 60 miles an hour. Get crazy. So that and then max would be the other. The max. Yeah, the max is just amazing. The X max is baby brother here with the max. Baby Max. Yep, so instead of requiring two batteries like the X Max and XRT, Max requires one battery. Uh, recommended on a four cell. We lengthened the wheelbase and the chassis a few, like about a year ago. So it can accept the 6700 milliamp four cell. So people who own an X Max or an XRT can have one of these and use the okay. same batteries uh, cross compatible. Trucks do not have to have, mm. you know, a variety of batteries. They can use the same, the same pack. Yeah, we have a, like a bin, a giant bin of batteries for different cars. <laughs> and then we have the sledge here, which is one of my personal favorites. And we're getting one of these, you said? Yes, yep. I have one sledge. of these set aside for you. Sweet. Yeah, just incredibly durable. You can see the chassis here. Oh, nice. Yep, nice aluminum chassis uh, with all the. That's cool. Yeah, how everything's keyed in, like super precision fit and quality finish. The big T bar to support the chassis. And it's a 6S, you know, 60 mile an hour truck that uh, I personally race these on the weekends for fun. Yeah, so where do, where's like the local track that you... So we have one in Garland, Texas, in DRC, and one in Ardmore, Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah, Shaw's RC. Sweet. So like I mentioned, there's a big big race up there this weekend. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> Maybe we'll check it out. Yeah, I brought mine. It's still in the box. Yeah. This guy that we just yeah, announced. So cute. Will the hydro fit under? That's the question. Nope. No. <laughs> high trail's too high. Yeah, so this is 
uh, customer service team is here. So people will call in. Let's see there. Nice. Talking to you. Yeah. Friend got her boyfriend got a Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, it's too big. Are these running vehicles? Yes, yes. This is what we model the slash after. Mm. So back in 2008-2009. Next, we're going to take you to their ultra top secret underground lair, 10 stories below the ground, never before seen on camera until now. Just kidding. Aww. I don't know if they even do have a top secret underground lair, but the rest of the warehouse is off limits to filming. We pulled around the back to load up all the demo cars for the warehouse shoot, which we're doing next. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Huge thank you to Traxxas for showing us around. All right, see you later. I don't want the cars to get stolen overnight, so we're gonna bring them into the hotel room. <laughs> Another day in our secret world.